Hey, I'm Danica from Live 105, checking in with Phoenix. How are you guys doing today? Good. How are you? Very good. How is your BFD going today? We just arrived. You just arrived. It's just starting. Very cool. So you guys getting in the vibe, getting in the flow. But we, we don't know much about BFD. You have to teach us what what is <laughs> uh, what's the what what is the tradition? The tradition. It's uh, people get here really early, see all the bands, get to dance a little bit. There's really cool things to check out. BFD means big effing deal. We'll bleep that out. But yeah, it's been going on for 23 years, which is crazy. It's, it's just amazing wow. how far it's come. So yeah, a lot of cool things to check out. I'm really stoked you guys are headlining tonight yes, at 10.15. We yeah, yeah, we're very excited. It's awesome. And um, congrats on Tiamo that came out yesterday. Thank you. I've been listening to it nonstop. I love it. And Thank uh, you. I Tiamo that record. No, but how do you mm -hmm. say? Yeah, I'm, you said it. Uh, no, sorry. Is that right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Tiamo? Yeah. How yeah. do you say um, I love that record in French? Is that how you say that? J'aime ce disque. J'aime ce disque. Voilà. Is it pretty good? Disc. Yeah. I wish I was. I wish I was bilingual. You know, I'm not, <laughs> and I, I'm very sad about that. But um, how is how is how does it feel to have the new record out? And it's a relief. Yeah, relief. Yeah, we couldn't stand having it on our shoulders. Now people are. And now it's out. Yeah, it's and out. I love how dancey it is. I mean, I was driving. I drive to work, have it on, and I just like to let let loose. It's so fun and so upbeat. And it's just crazy. I mean, how long did it take you guys to complete this record together? And you guys always write as a whole, or do you guys kind of bring different things to the table always as a whole? Always as a whole. We, we write together everything. And it's a very bizarre process, but uh, we enjoy it very much, especially this time. It was good. Good, I'm glad. Is there any one moment that stands out to you while you guys were writing together that you're like, man, that's... It's so cool to have that unity and any like aha moment that you guys had. We had we had a lot of fun every day and there was a lot of work involved, but we felt very lucky to be the four of us in a studio in the center of Paris. Very cool. And we were in our dream fantasy land of music. It was, it was good. It's amazing. And you guys are on tour now? Yes. Yeah, we started. Four weeks ago? Four weeks ago? Yeah. How long do you have to go? Um, it's probably like 60 more weeks. 60 more weeks. <laughs> do you guys have a favorite city to, to tour it? Or like, I mean, besides the Bay Area. No kidding. But um, do you um, guys have a favorite stop? No, but it's true. The Bay Area is really unique go because ahead. it has a feel of, um, I don't know. I feel like I've been a in a in a previous life i was a teenager here and i went to see these shows because i have many friends that come from here and they tell me stories of growing up here and going to all these uh you know i have a friend who went to the shoreline here yeah. they go to there seems to be a lot of places to go see music there is i mean the bay area is so alive with local bands we actually have a local band stage here which is really cool we get to showcase um all these young artists that are putting out really cool music and it's it's great so so what would be your second favorite stop besides the bear <laughs> I don't know. uh what's our second favorite um <laughs> you know the farthest from home the better sometimes like the most exotic um there are some places where you can play that that are almost biblical because there's a typhoon uh if you play in indonesia and suddenly there's a typhoon oh coming and you feel like you're you're not in your element and and uh we're looking for these moments you know well that will transcend transcend right. music definitely i mean has there been a really um crazy moment while you're on tour while you were playing or a, a favorite fan story you guys have that really stands out to you as well I actually heard recently that uh, Bay Area band Green Day. You guys ran into them, and I heard they fangirled out a little bit with you guys. Do, can you elaborate on that? I heard Green Day met you guys, and we're so excited to meet you. No, no, that's a <laughs> fake news. <gasps> Who told me that? What? Well, have you guys have any stories like I, that? Where I mean, I like I saw them in a hotel lobby once, but I doubt that this is the story they were <laughs> referring to. You know when it, when stories get passed along, and then you end up, and you're like, wait. Is that the truth? I don't know. So let me let me know what uh, happened. I'm trying to think if it's 
No, it's definitely not plausible. <laughs> but, um, you know, our lives are extremely boring when we're on the studio. It's like Groundhog Day. When you were asking, over like, over. what's the highlight? Yeah. It's really hard to find one because it's just work and the four of us being together and enjoying the routine. Definitely. And then for t about a year and a half or two, we have a very exciting life. Um, so we go from nothing to full on. Full on work in the yeah, studio. And that's really fun. That's oh, really. Fun. Um, and every day you have stories to tell. And, For uh, sure. You know, coming here, I flew this morning. You guys they flew took, in they today? No, they took the. He took the bus. We split yesterday because we okay. had friends over in LA. And, uh, and he. The tour bus broke down on the. Oh no! Oh, down, How was yeah. that? What did you guys do to pass the time? We went to a very cheap McDonald's on the motorway. <laughs> what did you order? <laughs> uh, the breakfast. There you go. Very disgusting food. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now. And <laughs> you guys are playing 1015 on the main stage. And um, I know I've heard from in passing that you guys have a crazy live show with tons of lights. I mean, what can we expect from tonight? We have... You will 2,000 light bulbs. 2,000? <laughs> no, no, that's not true. <laughs> we have a very uh, unique setup that we designed. Very the four cool. of us, hand in hand, uh, in the studio. It's okay. a very simple design, but it was a nightmare to, to create in real life. Well, I'm really excited to but see it. It looks tonight. good. I'm so stoked. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking in. Anything else you want to add, what you guys got coming up, or what's next for you? or? No, the album ju is just out, so let us. Yesterday. We have to. We have to enjoy that before we think of the next. So you guys are gonna play a lot of songs from that tonight, then. Right? Yeah. I'm yeah. very excited. I'm ready to dance. And Good. thank you guys so much for for checking in. See you later, Phoenix. 10:15 tonight on the main thank stage, you. Phoenix. Everybody.